In the previous chapters, you learnt interface of Tally, features of Tally, and downloading and installation of Tally. In this chapter, you will learn about chart of accounts, creating a company chart of accounts, and creation of masters such as accounting and inventory masters. You will also learn to alter and delete the masters. Finally, the chapter will cover multi-master creation and displaying of chart of accounts. So we will cover quite a bit in this session. As you are aware, computerized accounting puts an end to manual accounting's tedious and time-consuming process. It involves the simple cycle of one-time creation of the ledgers, followed by recording day-to-day -day transactions. The rest of the accounting process, including the generation of financial reports, is automated. Now let's understand the chart of accounts. Chart of accounts lists the accounts that a company has identified and made available for recording transactions in its general ledger. A company has the flexibility to modify its chart of accounts to best suit its needs adding accounts as needed. Now we will discuss the concept of chart of accounts with the help of business scenario. Suhant Software Private Limited deals with different types of electronic gadgets like mobile phones, computers and accessories of different brands. The stocks are sold in numbers and boxes. The company has four storehouses Bengaluru, Mumbai, Delhi and Kolkata to store stocks. The company accounts inventory to maintain stock books and make quick stock movement decisions using tally. The company had an account in SBI current account and Kotak Bank current account for business purposes. The company decides to maintain the complete financial year data in tally. Hence, they wanted to keep the chart of accounts for recording the business transactions from April 2020.